Fast Reporter 3 is a reporting tool that facilitates the creation of customized reports for multiple test files, lending them a polished and professional look. This tutorial will guide you through four simple steps to personalize a report template using Fast Reporter. The initial step is to find a report that you desire to personalize. To begin, you must log into Fast Reporter 3. After obtaining the necessary files containing previous test data, you should drag them into the file section on the right side of your screen. Then, locate and click the to match file a button at the bottom right of your screen. Once all the files are matched, proceed by selecting the report tab at the top. Next, you click on the select button. The report window will then be displayed on your screen, providing you with a selection of different categories of report templates to choose from. For instance, when you choose the OTDR file template report, you will have the option to select from various types of reports. If you choose one of them, you can simply rename it in the file name field. Then, in the file type category, you can export it as an Excel file by selecting Excel since you want to create a customized report. Please ensure that you have correctly specified the location where you would like your custom report to be saved, and then proceed by clicking on OK. The report that has been customized and pre-created will now be generated. Afterward, you will be able to view the report using Microsoft Excel. Finally, you can close the window that displays the Excel report. Step 2 involves creating a duplicate to personalize your template. To proceed, you will need to open your file explorer and navigate to the program data folder located under the C drive. Please note that this file may be hidden. If so, please access the View tab, verify that the Hidden Items option is enabled, and proceed to select Program Data, XFO, and either Fast Reporter 3 or 2, based on your installed versions. Lastly, locate and select the file displaying the version currently in use. You then select the English file. Please choose the category of the report for which you would like to create a custom report. Next, from the list of files, select the report that you previously viewed and would like to customize. So, once you have selected the original file and made a copy of it, you can proceed to paste it into the Explorer files located in your home folder. After that, you can create a new folder within OTDR and name it as a custom. Subsequently, you may move the copied file into this newly created folder and optionally assign it a different name if you desire. You then open it. In this folder, you will find all the syntax that has been applied to the file. It is important to note that each sign and symbol carries a specific meaning. Please refrain from removing any rows or columns, as doing so may disrupt some of the configuration options. If you wish to make changes, it requires a higher level of expertise. Nevertheless, one can make simple adjustments, such as expanding cells, columns, or rows. Step 3 involves the process of customizing your template. You can match the color scheme with your corporate brand. Furthermore, inserting your own logo is as simple as navigating to the Insert tab and selecting the desired file. Moreover, you can adjust the size and font of the displayed text. Finally, for a more professional appearance, consider removing the grid lines. If you do not wish for specific data to be displayed in your report, you have the option to either hide it or delete the information. However, it is not advisable to delete the entire row as it may lead to errors in the report. Step 4 is about saving your customized template. Once you have finished customizing, click on the Save button. Then, navigate back to the Fast Report window and click on the Report tab. Next, select the desired custom file from the report window to view the generated report. Please be advised that this tutorial showcases the fundamental customization options. If you wish to enhance it further, please refer to the FR3 tutorial on advanced Excel template modification.